Hey, Drive Tribe, Migs here, and I'm with Michael Vetter. Michael Vetter. Yes. Nice to meet you. Thank you, of MTV Concepts, Inc. MTV Concepts, Inc. This is amazing, the extraterrestrial, is that right? Extraterrestrial vehicle, yes, the ETV for short. Very good, well, let's yeah. talk about you first. Okay. So, how did you get involved in cars? Um, I was fortunate to be, I was born in Naples, Italy, uh, raised in Europe, it's probably where I got my love for exotics and you know maybe design in general you know i love the stonework and everything about europe uh, i saw my first lamborghini at a car show in frankfurt germany and that was really my early passion when i was 12 years old i said dad i like to have one of those he right. said you'd have to work very hard to have one of those and, then, <laughs> and my parents were awesome very supportive uh, you know they were never that's you can't afford that they were, you work hard and i've realized that as the years have gone on and so that was my early starting uh, i graduated high school in germany and moved to Florida because I was tired of the cold weather. <laughs> right. I didn't know what I was gonna do. So I went to college to get a business degree and I was working in a movie theater because I love TVs and movies. And I was gonna manage the movie theater as a natural progression of what I was doing, as well as I was working at European Auto Works. I would fix power windows in Mercedes and BMWs. And I, I liked still the European cars. And I found a car body of a Lamborghini kit car at a car show. And I just thought, there's my Lamborghini. And I bought it knowing nothing about body work or cars, you know, other than what I've seen, and I am you know, aware. But I took this thing home, and that's when I started buying Kit Car Magazine, Kit Car Illustrated, and that's when I started. Self-taught 100%, wow. spent a year and a half building that Lamborghini kit car, and I would drive it, and some people were like, it was worth more as a Fiero, but I knew it was nice. And you've gotta realize you just can't worry about what people say. So I drove that, had a great time, spent about $12,000 building this car. And my dad financed some of it. He says, he'd come home from Germany, or come back from Germany to the States and visit, and say, well, it's time to sell this car and move on. So, okay, dad, put it for sale, and I tripled my money on it. And that's when, and it sold really fast. I was like, wow, you know, and I'm calculating what I'm earning at the movie theater. So you can make money and have fun. Exactly. So that was the early start. I built my next kit car, was a Ferrari 355 Spider convertible. Spent three months, now I kind of know what I'm doing, $7,000. I said, it'd be nice to make $10,000 in three months. So I put it for sale. I had two guys come in a bidding war. I got $21,000 for that car, as well as a contract to build another one. And that was really an early recollection that I could say, wow, you know, they're going to pay me to build something that doesn't exist yet. So that's when I learned about being commissioned to build cars. So then I was up and running. Then we'd rent a larger shop and larger shop. I met my wife by selling her a car body that she was going to build a car. Her and I built the next eight or so Ferrari kit cars until we got a letter from Ferrari, cease and desist. That was another moment in life where I was like, uh-oh, you know, I love what I do, but I can't believe I'm not supposed to do this because I'm buying this parts out of kit car magazines and stuff. And so that was when I got into the legal world and realized that I had to do something different, but I still want to do what I do. So that accumulated with what else I had done and all the vehicles I've been working on started the idea of the creation of something super unique like this vehicle behind me. So did you buy, did you build this whole thing from the ground up? I built 100% of this car. It started as a chunk of styrofoam, which we hand shaped, made fiberglass molds, made a shell. Once I had that shell, by this point I've built a lot of kit cars and replicas and worked on, I like fiberglass, so I'd repair everything fiberglass. So I go from the looks from the outside in. So I have the shell and now I also have a good eye for detail. So I could kind of visualize what I could do with this body. And because of the kit cars, you know, you have a donor car. So I visualize different drivetrains. One of the early purposes for this car was because we'd had all these two door, two seater sports cars, which you can't have a kid in. And we were married eight years and we've decided to have a kid. So our daughter Malia, we need to have a back seat. We don't smoke or drink or party that much. And so we needed a car that we can all go in. Yeah. So at eight months old, the first one of these was completed and Malia's in her car seat in the back seat. And that's our fun car. And that was, that's really the early creation of this particular vehicle. So how old is she now? Malia's 14 today. There you go. So now you get another worker. The whole family. <laughs> she she was helping work on this car, honestly. And we were working on this car till 2.30 in the morning to get it to this show because it was painted two weeks ago. Uh, so now you're stationed uh, home base out of Florida? Florida. Uh, Sebastian area. Uh, Miko, but we shared the zip code with Sebastian. So it's a beautiful little town right on the water. We have two 8,000 square foot airplane hangars. And at any given time, there's six to eight cars in progress. Uh, lots of fiberglass everywhere. <laughs> well, um, let's take a look at the car now. This car has a lot of unique features, uh, starting with the windshield. It's five feet long by four and a half feet wide. And a lot of people say, is it tough to see out of this vehicle because of the, 
the lack of rear view vision, but it's actually very easy to see out of because of this large windshield. The side windows on the doors add to your front peripheral vision. You can see pretty much everything in front of you. Additionally, I've added front cameras and rear cameras. Custom made grill, we've adorned it with our, our Vetter shield. Every one of these has its own unique features. Uh, this one is the one of the most unique features would be the color shift copper pearl paint that my wife actually found on Amazon. Well, she found a powder and we mixed our own paint. Uh, as a side note on painting, it's very difficult to paint a paint that when you step 10 inches to one side, the color changes. So that's purely experience, uh, trying to paint something like that. So this car, we've built the whole top half of the dash, custom fiberglass. The vents are actually light up vents from a Mercedes came out really cool. Large screen in the middle, power window buttons underneath the screen, air conditioning controls below that. We crafted an aluminum shifter that looks something like what would be in an airplane. A lot of people ask me if this car is going to take off when they see it <laughs> driving or parked. <laughs> uh, custom built my own seats. Uh, the upholstery, we call that a Stingray material. Uh, but I did purchase some Stingray to to cover one car and it smells like fish when you leave it in the sun. So this is a fabricated material that we found at a place in Canada. Really cool stuff with the pearl glow to it. Um, the back seats, you might want to, yeah, that's one of the neat features also. So you can have two, three kids back there. It's actually six feet wide in the back. I can lay back across the back seats. Let's see. I gotta see back in there. And I'll open the rear hatch from the back the vehicle changes its look with the doors open and closed and the different openings open and closed. Uh, which is another thing that people just kind of look at it and then they'll come back later and be like, oh my goodness, I didn't know it did that. <laughs> this being number 10 of 10 of these vehicles, extraterrestrial vehicles that we've built, I wanted to do a, a different tail light. So I call this the Millennium Falcon style tail light, which is recessed in there. It's got a beautiful red glow at night with our Vetter logo right in the middle. Custom made exhaust tips, we built that out of stainless steel. And of course our rear view camera. And another neat thing, uh, because of the rounded shape of the car, as you're looking up it, with the side view mirrors on the car, you can actually see a complete vehicle behind you because there's no corners to try to look around. So in spite of the lack of rear window, you can really see well. And we'll open this and you can kind of see down into it. And also how the look of the vehicle changes. And then I'll close all the openings, and it really looks like a bullet going down the road when it's all closed up. These little round plates right here are plasma discs. A little electricity shoots through them, and they're fun. It, you know, people can see them when it's not sunlight directly on them. <laughs> the wheel covers are another neat feature that people are just attracted to. And I, I wanted to cover the wheels because when I build so many cars, People are always wanting to change wheels and tires. You know, I sell a car, well, if you change the wheels and tires, I want this wheel and tire. So I've taken that out of the equation and it really helped the futuristic look. It also makes it so the car does not get dirty when you're driving it. Pouring rain, there's all the water goes to the back and it's clean as can be. Um, if you look across into the door opening, you can see the round power windows. Now that's a fabrication feat. Real glass windows we had fabricated, but they're motorized windows utilizing uh, Chevy parts. And then I'll start closing it up and you can see how the look changes. Would you like to hold the microphone and I'll walk around it closing everything up? And that's kind of the quick and gist of the extraterrestrial vehicle. Seeing. <laughs> Custom made headlights, of course fabricated front grill out of aluminum. Now you can see a lot of the color shift in there. Thank you Michael so much for spending time with us today and showing us the extraterrestrial. It's uh, been a blast taking a look at this. Thank you. And we'll see you next time on Drive Tribe.